Good day, Aries viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your amazing energy. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for clicking that subscribe button and the little bell for notifications for when I go live or upload new videos. Thank you for also commenting on this video if it resonates with you, or if you doesn't, then if you leave some feedback, that helps too. Today I'm doing a reading for um, a general reading for the Aries Collective and uh, right now I am shuffling for the overall energy for the reading mid-month romance reading for the Aries Collective. Spirit, what do you have for the Aries Collective for their greatest good for romance in August 2022? What do you have for Aries greatest good in romance? for 2022. Okay, so, so far the cards that came out were Healer of the Ages and Financial Constraints. Let's see what else Spirit has to reveal for the overall energy. This one. Okay, so I feel like you might have been fighting with um, this person you might be uh, trying to heal uh, some sort of broken relationship or um, get back on track with somebody. I feel like you guys may have actually separated because of finances, which is why so many couples break up. Either, um, you know, they feel like they can't... Um, you know, be the breadwinner or they want to be the breadwinner or uh, things just aren't working out financially. They're living above their means. And, um, you know, with that comes a lot of stress. And, um, the, you know, that that's not for everyone, obviously. But I do feel like there's some fighting going on. You might be looking to um, actually cut something off with somebody. But, um or somebody might be looking to cut something off from me, with you. And I feel that you are looking to heal it. Um, I, maybe you're trying to get on the same page. Maybe you are looking for um, healing yourself through this, break, this breakup or the separation. But you're feeling the hostilities. You're feeling the tension of this building up. If you haven't actually broken up, I feel like you can feel that it's coming. And... Um, you would rather have it heal, you know, you're going to suggest maybe going to counseling or having some kind of um, intervention or outside third party help. Um, now that's up to you guys to decide what works best for you. Um, or if, it, you know, they want to take part in that at all to begin with. All right, so let's move on and see if we can uh, get anything else from the tarot. For August 2022. And like I said, this is going to be for the Aries Collective for uh, romance for August. Let's see what else. Oh, gosh, we're stuck. Maybe you guys are stuck in a situation. My cards literally just got stuck. <laughs> so maybe that might resonate with you. You're stuck in a situation. You're feeling stagnant of some sort. Um, maybe that's why you need to move on. Spirit, what does our Aries viewers need to know for their greatest good for August 2022 regarding romance? What does our Aries Collective need to know for their greatest good regarding romance for August 2022? We have the Six of Coins to start out with. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, then we have the Devil. We have the King of Coins. And the Ten of Coins. Okay, so um, 
you are feeling like you want everything copacetic and balanced. Like I said, you might be the one who is wants to, you know, make this work, go to counseling, try to work it out. Um, and this could be flipped either way. Um, however, this person has um, some sort of chains that are holding them back some some reason why they're not focused and can't make you their number one priority um this person has some obstacles they need to get through something that they need to get unchained from to make anything work and this is something that they have to address before they even can think of making things um balanced with you because they have no balance within themselves right now they're not aligned within themselves. So there's no way there can be alignment within your relationship. Okay. Um, we do have a king coming in for you, though. Um, that's going to be in your presence if they're not already. This king is well established. This king has, um, has an abundance already. They may own a business. This person might be... Um, be an older person somebody maybe they're a boss of something they might own their own company they've been around for a little while this person might be older than you but they are established and they find you so attractive and they want to make things work with you and they want to offer you everything they want to offer you that home the way picket fence that family and they want to make it work with you um but is this something you want or you know are you willing to live this fight for this this person who is just not aligned and may have a lot of work to do maybe many years before they get their shit together um this is this is something we're gonna have to find out so let's clear the six of coins for our aries collective Spirit, what does our Aries Collective need to know for their greatest good for mid-August 2022 for romance? What, what does the Aries Collective need to know for romance in August? Woo! Woo! Okay, so first card that came out was this one. We have the Hanged Man. Okay, then we have the Page of Cups. Then the Six of Swords and the Eight of Coins. Okay, so um, you, you are trying to see things from the perspective of your person. But as somebody who doesn't have something chaining to them or, or an addiction or or something that's holding them back, or something that has them bound. Somebody who's not in that position doesn't know what that person is going through. This person is looking for alignment and is looking for healing, or they might not be. Maybe that hasn't hit them yet. Maybe they have not, not seeked the proper help that they need. Maybe you're waiting for them to seek that help. Um, you're trying to see them see from their perspective on, on how they're feeling, what's coming, you know, what could possibly come from this relationship. But I have to tell you, if this person is pulling away from you, it's going to be for your greatest good. Um, having loved somebody with addictive personality with, um, that is, is bound to something else is fixated on something that is out of your control um, is not an easy process um, yes it's it's beautiful that you are trying to see things and you know developing the coping skills on how to talk to them and how to deal with them However, they need to want to do it for themselves. There is no forcing this. Um, but in the meantime, you know, you are, are getting offers. People are coming to you, approaching you with romantic offers, dates, 
um, you know, that people want to hang out with you. They want to be in your presence. Um, and this gives you this beautiful feeling, this calmness, this, you know, oh, this is how I'm supposed to be treated. Is, is it how I'm supposed to be treated? You know, I'm supposed to be number one with somebody. You don't even know what that's like, or you don't even recognize it because you're not used to it. Um, but you're spending a lot of your time burying your head in work, um, trying to take your mind off of everything else so you can stay focused on the one thing. And that's this, this energy that is really putting you last or at least not putting you more important than what they're bound to, more important than their addiction, more important than, um, their, you know, third party more important than whatever it is that has got them distracted whatever has has got them distracted from you is they're putting that more important than you it could be an imbalance um anywhere it could be work it could be um gosh it could be anywhere so whatever it is whatever they're putting more important whatever they're chained to they are making it more essential than you while well, you're burying your head in work and trying to forgive them and align with them and you're putting in a lot of work so um you have the option you know to keep living that way in the stagnant energy you are um you know work 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 not getting out you know, trying to fix things when it's out of your control, or you can keep moving. You can move in a, in a, in a direction of uh, finding new love and, um, you know, seeing where the universe, where your journey takes you. Okay, so now we're clearing for the devil card. We have the star in reverse. Okay, so this person has taken themselves out of out of the limelight this person has um kind of recoiled and i say that because there's a snake <laughs> into their own into their own atmosphere nobody has seen them much nobody has talked to them much because they're so into whatever has them chained that they don't give a shit about anything else. Um, they are concentrating on one thing and one thing only. And, um, you know, that might be going to work and this other activity that they're doing, however that resonates with you. Um, so they have, they have drawn back. They have pulled back. People haven't seen high nor hair of them. They are take, have taken themselves out of the spotlight. They don't want people to talk about them. They don't want any uh, attention drawn to them. And uh, that was one of the red flags that, you know, I think drawn, like drew you to why, what's going on with you? Why aren't you coming out more? Why aren't you, you know, hanging out more? And that's one of the red flags that set you off. Like, oh, um, they don't even want to hang out with me anymore. Like what, what the hell? Um, and this is the ace of wands, which means this person who used to be super passionate, super creative, super into, um, you know, exploration and, and learning new things and being passionate and having a fire under their ass is not that person anymore. They've lost it. Um, and unfortunately, um, this comes with a loss of money as well. So whatever drive they had, whatever incentive they had, they don't have that anymore. Um, this has, they have drawn, withdrawn from their own life. And, um, you know, I feel like you are living this stagnant life waiting for them or waiting for something to change. Now let's clear this king of coins and see what's going on with this king. Spirit, what does the Aries Collective need to know about this king of coins that is going to be coming into their energy? What is this king of coins? Okay, so we have the Hierophant. We have the two of coins.
then we have the page of wands and justice came out with the page of wands okay so we have this king of of coins sees that you on your journey you're learning lessons okay takes an interest in your family in you maybe you have kids maybe um you know however dynamic your family is takes an interest in your family wants to explore this with you wants to show you um that life can be better all right this person shows you new passions new things that get you excited this person is excited for life wants to experience new things with you and can create that balance that you were seeking in the beginning of the reading can create this balance that you were looking for now this person might be also going through a divorce or might be divorced so um, this might be this person's second marriage but they want to experience a whole new set of of things for you they want to start a new journey with you they want to start creating memories with you and your family and you and your situation spirit can we clarify the ten of coins So this king of coins is coming in and they're bringing with them the ten of coins can we clarify the ten of coins for the aries collective okay we have the five of cups so you're still paying attention to what wasn't serving you there for some reason you still have or this person is still in your energy they still have their hooks in you they might be hitting you up every once in a while you know stringing you along hey aries i haven't thought of you in a minute um how are things going do you have some money that i can borrow hey aries um i haven't thought of you are you still um you know doing this and that Just trying to show some narcissistic um empathy and narcissistic response to they know exactly what they're doing they're playing you they're stringing you along um and here that's enough to keep you keep you in their energy and vice versa as long as they're still thinking about you they're still in your energy so while you have this person offering you the world you still have your heart and your mind set on the this these things that aren't serving you while you're ignoring these two cups that are filled that you could be feasting out of okay so let's keep going you're ignoring what's good for you to keep this now i'm not saying that you know don't like yeah that's awesome this person is trying to get help but th there's no proof that they're even trying to get help you know they're there i don't know if they've they've gotten to that place where they're trying to get help but i know for darn sure that they're they're bringing you with them and they're playing on your empathies okay and we have the six of cups this could be somebody from your past coming back somebody that you um that you knew before maybe somebody you went to school with or um were friends of the family somebody got wind of uh you know that you were single and you started asking you know hey what's aries doing what were what they doing where are they working how are they and now they are coming to see what's going on with you and then we have the queen of coins so now we have the king of coins and the queen of coins that is a soulmate connection okay so now we have the soulmate connection this is a soulmate reading 
And this is a connection that can't be broken from lifetime to lifetime. Okay, your soulmates we travel with throughout throughout lifetimes with. So this person is going to take care of you in this lifetime and probably in the next lifetimes. You've probably known this person for many lifetimes. So it's it's kind of like you can stay with what you know, this, you know, battle every day, working on yourself, trying to bring uh, some kind of of movement into a stagnant situation, um, ignoring the new love that's coming in for you, and trying to to stay in this place of stagnancy, or moving on and getting going on with your journey, and wishing this person that you are stuck with that you are involved with the best of luck um let's pull a card from this deck all right we have wisdom um this is a card of pulling wisdom, obviously, from your, your ancestors, your guardians, whoever you go for guidance. Maybe there's even here in the 3D, maybe you go somewhere to somebody who serves you well and gives you good advice, or at least is a good sounding board. Um, you're, seeking, you're seeking the knowledge to figure out what I should do next. It's important to know that you deserve better than what you're being handed. You have the power to change your life. And I'm going to pull a couple of romance cards. Now this night might not resonate with the reading or um, you specifically, but it might resonate with somebody. So take it as it is okay we have kisses that one keeps wanting to come out okay we have kisses unconditional loving unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love then we have stabbed in the back <laughs> heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack So maybe you shouldn't trust everybody around you at this point. If that resonates with you, if you're feeling some sort of shadiness around you, somebody might be, um, you know, trying to deceive you in some sort of way. Okay, we have hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Okay, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And can I have one more spirit for the area? Oops, there was one turned over. Where was the cassette? Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head okay you might be stuck on somebody because you're comfortable with them this is you know somebody that you are have been with for so long you don't know what it's like otherwise but that doesn't mean that you don't deserve better all right so guys aries this is where i'm leaving you Thank you for your loyalty and staying for this long. Please click on subscribe and like this video. Um, I am doing personal readings, so please see below in the description box on how to get one. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, Aries.